All right, guys, take a look at it. Your last sunset over Duna. That is because I have fast-forwarded things a year. We are now 705 days into this mission. And I have a burn set up in 6 minutes and 23 seconds. I will show it to you now. I have arranged things so that the planet Kerbin is a little bit further behind than we had it before. And I'm doing a pretty significant burn. And I do have, if I were to burn more, an encounter here. But not quite close enough, so I'm giving myself some wiggle room so that later on I can do another maneuver to actually make it an encounter with Kerbin. Uh, another interesting fact you'll notice... Fact? F-A-K. A new fact. Uh, fact you'll notice is that... Our Kerbo clusters, in the meantime, in that year that passed since I was fast-forwarding here, have interacted with some planets or moons of Jewel, and are now off, at least two of them, Kerbo cluster the main, the main uh, Kerbo cluster, and the Kerbo cluster probe A, B? I don't know, that probe doesn't have a name. No, probe B is 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 has gotten shot off, but is still within... A, a solar orbit, but uh, an unnamed probe, I thought I named them all, and the main Kerbo Cluster Thruster Magoober it, have been sent off into interstellar space. So not only was that a, a catastrophic success of a mission, but it's the mission that keeps giving back. Uh, I don't know, since we're, since we're abandoning this save to update, maybe it would be pointless, but it would be cool to see just how far we can get one of these guys and then get science out of it or something like that. From deep space, who knows, I don't know. But uh, but yeah, we are really most concerned about this upcoming burn here. I am going to, we're still quite a ways away. Uh, I, I've, I've gone with the single central engine is my, my thruster of choice. I, I hope it's enough oomph. It's not that bad of a maneuver that we have coming up. Only 845, or I'm sorry, 638, even better, uh, meters per second that is required to get us out of Duna orbit and actually pretty close to a, a Kerbin encounter. So the majority of our oomph is going to be coming from this maneuver. Uh, what do we got, four minutes? Let me do a test burn just to see how much of the burn is actually going to be required. Whoa, 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 okay, uh, okay, apparently, in that time, they decided to reactivate the engines. No, no, that is not what I wanted to happen. Dang, guys, pay attention. All right, now, let's throttle and then see what our calculated burn time is. Oh, I should have the SAS on as well, it's probably a good idea. Oh, a two-minute burn. One two-minute burn. Okay. Uh, no, oh, wait, wait, wait. So we do that at one minute. Okay. At 60 seconds is when we'll start the burn. Uh, we've already probably done quite a lot to our apoapsis already. Yeah, 145. All right. So T minus 30 seconds. Did I say it was a one-minute burn? Or one minute. It's a two-minute burn. So T minus one minute is when we'll do this burn. I'm also, as you can see, uh, I, I don't know if there's much point to this. But it seemed to help. Uh, I'm making the adjustment for how far off we are. It put us off on quite the kilter against the Kerbin orbit. Uh, and and so I've done it so that now our, our nodes are around 0%. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, and let's throttle up. Yes, very nice. All right, let's take a look at our spacecraft to make sure all the nuts and bolts are holding together. Got it good, guys. Got it good. Right. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. Don't count your horses before they hatch, Kurt. But I think this will be a piece of cake as far as having enough fuel to be doing this burn on this engine. Jebediah is just maniacally laughing. Up here, he's staying in his lander seat. He's made a nice, comfy home there. The other two guys are a little bit more freaked out, but that's all right. All right, this is about the halfway point of our burn. I was having so many problems with... Every time I tried to do this burn, uh, Ike kept getting in the way. And I was thinking, oh, is there a way I can capitalize on that to slingshot around? But it, uh, once you have an encounter with Ike, 
the game removes any additional uh, trajectories that you might have after that, so I wouldn't, I, I wasn't able to tell. There might be an option. I thought there was an option to change that, how many steps along in orbit it does, it, 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 it allows for, but... Oh well, we'll 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 do with what this burn is doing for us. We have 15 seconds remaining. Let's actually throttle down a bit. Not that it really matters. Try to make this as accurate as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go with this. Yeah, that's pretty pretty spot on there, guys. All right, guys. We are leaving Duna. We have half of the fuel that we have. Let's actually, while we're at it, transfer the fuel out of this central tank. Oh, that's the battery pack. No, I want the, the fuel. Just to make sure all the weight is at the back, so that we don't bend like a wet noodle while we're thrusting. <laughs> that's a that's a rocketry term, guys. Deal with it. But yeah, all right, awesome. We are returning, hopefully, with the samples from Duna, which is right there. Well, that's kind of cool. It's, it's the blue sky glow in the night. The dark night. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward situations here. Woo! Yeah! On our way out. See you later! Let's hope for future success on landing and sciencing on Duna. Alright, I need to get out of Duna Escape. And then, uh... I can start planning the additional maneuvers to get me into a specific Kerbin entry. I think we could do this. I think we could do this. I almost paused and, and, and mentioned another problem I'm eventually going to have, but here we go! Hooray! We have a scapade! Duna, now let's start messing around with some maneuvers to get us closer to Kerbin. Yeah, like, okay, Kerbin is actually... we're a little bit ahead of schedule for Kerbin, so that that's good because that gives me the wiggle room to do things like this. To actually plan my maneuver later. Probably not as efficient but I will take it regardless. Oh, I want an encounter, come on! Closest approach. 140 kilometers, that's actually pretty good. Why is that not saying that's an encounter? Huh. Duh, I've never returned to Kerbin. <laughs> Does it act differently? Where am I? Yeah, I'm looking for an encounter. I'm looking for the little entry. There, that thing, right there. All right, got it. No, no. Mm -hmm. Highlight. No, no, I want to highlight that number so that I can specify. Alright, this is going to take like three hours, so hold on. I'll, I'll be right back with you while I figure this out. No, no, keep it highlighted, you bum. Yeah, like that. Alright, guys, we're back and in Jebediah's seat looking out at the vastness of space. But we are about to do a burn that will actually... I'm surprised at how well this is going to work out. 25 seconds, so we need to start right about... Now, yeah, let's do that. Uh, it's actually going to get us within 700 kilometers of Kerbin, and that encounter is going to do the majority of the job to really slow us down. 
So I'm surprised at how well that worked out. After much, much fiddling, I will not tell you how, how much time surpassed in real time. Figuring out, clicking and clicking and dragging and clicking all the little maneuver things just to get it just right. But I think... I think we are all right. Alright, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna do the rest with RCS. I'm going to... Turn that off. All right, our encounter is one million. Oh, God bless America. Just keep that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now with RCS. I'm going to make that number smaller and smaller. Oop, it's got bigger. Okay, well. Hmm. Oh. Ah, oh. Oh, okay. Well, dang it. I was so excited about how awesome that maneuver was, and now it doesn't appear as though I can... Get as close as I wanted. Yeah, I think I'm just messing things up more by doing it this way. Yep, nuts to that. All right, so we'll 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 fiddle as we get even closer. But haha, haha, -ha, we have our encounter with Kerbin, and by golly, we have enough fuel left. I'm going to discuss with you my, my next set of problems when we get closer, so hold on for that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And as you can see, our first sighting of Kerbin, the pale blue dot, the, 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 the blue marble, the, the spicy meatball. <laughs> um, oh, and there's the moon. You can see the moon off the side there, too. I did a few little uh, fancy pants maneuvers with just my RCS thrusters on the way here and got our periapsis down to 95 kilometers. Didn't want to get any closer than that because I, I'm a little bit afraid once we do get within this Kerbin encounter, the calculator might figure out that there are some encounters with either Minmus or Moon. So I didn't want to do any t anything too specific from there. Also, the problem as previously mentioned that I have, is that I have two spacecraft here. I have the command pod capsule and the lander. The most important thing is the lander. It has the capsule, uh, the capsule, the, uh, the container for the, the container, <laughs> as if there's an actual container in there. The, the sample, the surface sample and whatnot from Duna. So that needs to re-enter safely. Uh, but I would like these guys to come home safely as well, Bill and Sidball. Uh, the problem is if, if we're going to do a direct entry, which is pretty much the way it has to go as far as our relative speeds are concerned, um, we're going to have to uh, land everything together. And once you enter the atmosphere, you can't switch between ships. So I've got to find a way to safely get both of these in to the atmosphere and landed at the same time without switching ships. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to ditch this main segment, but still carry the capsule underneath me. And then perhaps at the last minute, pop this guy's parachute and then separate. Hopefully that all goes well, I don't know. I still have all these parachutes up here uh, and the engines in case I need to do some thrusting. Thrusting, so maybe that's the way to go, but that's, a, you know, another little wrench in, in, the, in the armor there. That's not the term at all, a wrench in the armor. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we're going to fast forward things a bit and come into our Kerbin encounter to see what happens. All right, it looks like we're okay for Minmus is on the opposite side of the planet. And, oh, that was the opposite of what I was expecting. Uh, where are we at? What is our encounter? We're in 150. Okay, yeah, that always changes. Yeah, the relative speed we're going to be traveling compared to Kerbin is going to be extremely fast, so direct entry is the way to go. Like, I couldn't get myself in a capture orbit. I don't think I have the power! Yeah, let's just imagine such a thing. Well, you know what? I probably could. 250 meters per second? That seems possible. I could probably even do some arrow braking if I wanted to. Uh, but that would be delaying the inevitable, would it not? Hmm. Hmm. 
I feel that like that would be delaying the inevitable. Let's go for the direct entry method. Quick save, and uh, yeah, let me adjust things just a little bit here. Uh, I believe to make things closer, I would need to do a maneuver. Out. Whoa, 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 what is that? Where is that located? No, no. Gosh, I hate how this maneuver system doesn't realize that I'm on this trajectory and I would wish to maneuver upon it. Right there. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Don't come back. Add maneuver. Ha ha ha. Um, all right. Let's try to look at the maneuver, please. If I do this. Oh, I smack into the planet. 22. That would be enough. That'll do it. 17. No, let's give me 22. I need a little bit of time. 27. 24. 22. All right. We're going to be coming in at 22 kilometers. I'm reading that right. I'm not like actually 22 million or something like that. So we have set us up the bomb. <laughs> God, look at the, the refueler spinning around there. Whoa, everybody. Ooh. Uh... Okay, we're coming in under the moon. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, where is this maneuver taking place? In an hour. Two second burn they're asking for. Hmm. Alright, let's plan for this. Hey guys! Woo! Coming home after 777 lucky days. Lucky number seven. Flip around. I'm assuming the maneuver's over here. It is. And hold that thought. Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, I passed it up. I passed it up. God dang it. <laughs> Alright, let's just... Let's just do things. All right, we'll just do this manually. We'll do it live. 50, 40, 30, 20. We can do the rest with RCS. What did I say, 22? Yeah, perfect, right on the dot almost. All right. That was me. I don't know, hand warmers? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's so cold out here in deep space. All right, here goes nothing. Uh. What I should do, what I actually could do, is transfer the fuel back up here, just in case. Just in case. And and then I can feel free to, to ditch the command module side of things as, you know, as quickly as possible. As need be. Uh, I might want to arrange my staging for this as well. Hmm. All right, guys, y'all ready for this? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but here comes the planet very quickly. Actually, let me get out of the seat here. Oh, this is uh, Jebediah's view. Whew, all right, let's get back outside. Yep. Yep, indeed. We are getting close. Very close. We're at 280, and we're coming in like a rocket. Three kilometers per second. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, we're having some strangeness. Strangeness is happening! We are breaking the bounds of science and space and physics all at once. Um, yeah, we're, we're coming in. I've set up the staging so that once we start coming in, I can drop the main tank here. Don't need it, don't want it. And then four of the top chutes shall deploy symmetrically to slow us down. And then... And then I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hmm, I'm going to have to detach here manually if I do it that way. Okay, so four shoots detach, 
these two are the main... This guy shoots. And uh, so I need to deploy those, which are probably going to cause things to spin out of control. And then I detach. And then those guys should be fine. If I need to detach at all, that is. Uh, which I might need to. <laughs> that might be a good idea. But we are now... Ah, causing the game to lag. Because we are going... 3.25 kilometers per second. We're going to start interacting with the atmosphere at some point. All of the, the planned orbit lines are freaking out. They don't know what they're doing. They're intersecting the planet and whatnot. It does, I'm, I'm glad we're coming in on the daytime side. Oh, hey, isn't that where Kerbal Space Center is? That would be amazing if the planet would rotate just enough and I would just go bloop right back on the launch pad. It's never gonna happen. Um, I could probably, if I was I was skilled enough, probably finagle things in order to do that. But I am neither skilled nor am I enough. And here we go. We're below below a hundred thousand. Blub blub blub. That was actually my stutter. That wasn't like a skip in the recording, by the way. Oh man, coming in hot. Yep. Be happy, Bill. Cross your fingers. Jebediah is just, it's apparently a much more unstable camera set up for the, the Kerbal Cam right there in, in that capsule. Oh, the music! The music has stopped. Oh no, these mountains are frightening. <laughs> uh, maybe I should try, well, it's too late now. Too late now, everybody. Yep. That's, that's changing. Alright, well, our, our periapsis is actually beyond the mountains, so hopefully we can skip right over that and, and have a nice ocean landing. I've never been down in this part, in these parts down here. I never even knew that there was, well, I guess I knew there was a South Pole in Antarctica type situation, but... Alright, 40 kilometers, and here comes the heat. Uh, let's actually turn off the RCS. We don't need that anymore. Let's try to get... Oh, maybe we do need the RCS. Okay, well, this is happening automatically. So much speed and power and flames and frightening stuff. Ah, ha, ha, this camera angle. Oh, man. Oh, things are undulating. That's no good. Oh, we're, we're spinning. We're spinning. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit of craziness happening right there. We are down to 23, did that? Oh yeah, we're definitely, definitely coming down. Hopefully, uh, might not be an ocean landing, that's a shame. Okay, we're just under now two kilometers per second. Hold on, hold on. All right, we're slowing down. This appears as though it's going to be a land landing, but it looks like soft land. Perhaps there's some sort of beach resort out on that little that little uh, inlet there. <laughs> These guys can just kick back and have a curburita. Ah, see what I did there? Curb. <laughs> All right. Let's try to... Oh, oh. Okay, we're at 12,000 meters. Let's try to... God, I can't control myself. The wind! I want to get it so that this could just fly away on its own. Alright, I'm going to stage this stage. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Right now. Oh, that didn't work as planned. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, everybody. And now at 5,000 before this kicks back up in our faces. Let's do the do and pop those four shoots. That didn't do anything. Oh dear, okay, this has all gone wrong. Um, let's... Oh god. Okay, more shoots! More shoots, everybody! Just pop all the shoots! Why? Oh god, these shoots, the repacked shoots are not deploying! Deploy, damn you! Deploy... Oh no! What was that? 
Oh, he's alive. Okay. Huh. Good lord. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, these guys are safe. I'm more concerned about Jeb here. Why weren't those shoots deploying? I was pushing all the space bars. They should have... I got the deploying sound. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, those, those engines aren't activated. Let's... Is my RCS on? Alright, yeah, let's just slow things down. Oh, this is gonna be a t hard landing. Hard landing, everybody! Uh... Yep, 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 yep. No, ship, step, stop it, stop it. Where's the capsule? Where's the capsule? Okay, there's the shadow. Stop exploding! Oh, it seems all the science survived. That's fine. Here comes the capsule. Nice and slow. This is gonna come down nice and easy. Alright, let's switch to them. Oh no. To the capsule! Yep. Oh god, right on top. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I cannot handle all those explosions, please. Alright. Woo! Alright, let's get back to Jeb. There he is, Jeb. You alright? You good? Uh, we have the goo, both goo containers, we have the main science container, and most importantly, we have our surface sample from Duna. This ended as as Ker Kerbal Space Program as it could have ever ended. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why weren't the parachutes deploying? Alright, anyway, not that it matters, but let's find out how much science we got from the lander, and then we have a little bit more EVA reports and whatnot from the capsule. Recover the Wessel! Holy Moses! 385.9 science earned this mission. Before I came back, I had 600 science even. Uh, that's what I had after the Kerbo Cluster uh, reports and whatnot. So we have the crew report. Surface sample gave us 93 science. A little bit less because we transmitted a few surface samples. Uh, uh, and then the... Yeah, well, these were the ones that we sent already. Were the material studies. Recovery of a Wessel from the surface of Duna gained us 75 science. Done! Now let's head back and get the guys in the capsule who are on the planetary command module. Who landed down in this southerly continent that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> bah! Bah! Everything's- Oh god! No! Shh. <laughs> oh, because we removed removed the command pod, so everything shifted. Hey guys, you doing right there? Bill, Sidball. Yeah. All right. Let's let's recover you guys and see what little piddly science we got from you. They didn't go to the surface of Duna. They're not as important. 135. Not too shabby. Not too shabby right there. Dunsky. Wow. All right. That was a mission right there. Uh, I almost don't want to reset my save file to be honest with you, because I have. 1,122 science. Not that it's going to last long. Every science beyond here costs 550 science. But I think, I, I think I'm think i set on restarting the save uh, simply because it adds a lot and gives me some other additional goals. We'll have to grind a little bit through these beginning stages, but that's fun. We can experiment. We could try different things than we normally tried. Uh, I can, while I'm here, uh, check out I just want to see what these guys who are now leaving the solar system are up to. Are there any Kerbo Clusters on Jewel? No, they've all been ejected. Well, the one was... Kerbo Cluster A was injected into into Jewel, but the rest have been ejected. Who's the furthest out? The main Kerbo Cluster probe is orbiting the sun. No, you're not. You're leaving. You are leaving. Let's Let's see what things look like out here. Yep, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> you've had some malfunctions, apparently? Oh, oh no! <laughs> what? Oh, uh, well, we still have one solar panel. Do we have any power? We still have power. And look at how far away from the sun we are. Oh, we've lost... Why did that happen? That is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> See you later! Bye! <laughs> It's gaining sun exposure and and uh, direct sunlight. Oh man, let's go back to the Kerbal Cluster. This guy is all out of fuel? No, he has full fuel? How does he have full fuel? What? Who had fuel? Something, something is amiss here, I believe. Oh, 
Nobody had fuel left in the Kerbo Cluster Cluster. You liar. You just used this as, a, as an opportunity to, uh, to do things. Toggle display. Log the temperature. Ah. I can't, I don't have control over the spacecraft. Seems to be the issue. I have electric charge. I can turn SAS and RCS on, but I don't have... The reaction wheels are operational. I'm pressing buttons! Buttons are being pressed! Oh, as you can see, the pitch and the roll, but nothing... Can the gear extend? Yes, the gear can extend. The one gear. Hmm. This is weird. This is a mystery. Operational. I can't even control things. Is gimbling? Gimbling, lock gimbal. Free gimbal, okay. Alright, apparently when you get... Oh my god. What? <laughs> How far away am I? Good gravy. I am... Very far away from everything. Apparently when you get to be... 162... 1717 million oh wait no that's billion am i 162 billion kilometers away from the sun uh apparently when you get out this far you cease to be you cease to have any control over your your faculties let's take a look at the other one who is right there switch to all right this guy doesn't have any fuel and his solar panels are all in order. He's gonna go land on some other planetary bodies. Can I take a temperature or anything from this distance? Hmm. It's getting so cold out here, so cold! This guy's only 113 billion kilometers out. Is that right? I'm not sure I'm doing the math there. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, that happened. It's it's a, it's a magical day. We've returned successfully from Duna. We're sending out two spacecraft to survey the outer reaches and exoplanets and whatnot that don't exist. And, uh, yeah. I believe that will at least conclude, I suppose, the... The, the, this, this save, I guess, until next time when I update to Kerbal Space Program 0.23 with more parts, more science, more biomes and whatnot, and more crazy explosions and weird landings like we just had today. But I did have fun with this save and I'm looking forward to more fun here from the headquarters of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Kurt, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.